it's just up. So it, it, and it's its own browser. So, so then here you're going to come to my channel, and you're going to wait for it to load somewhere in there. Okay, you know that part. Okay, Dominique, what's your pet's name? Go. do some QA. I might have you take the white camera and do QA later, okay? Just, I want what, what she just said right there. So she, we'll say that again, okay, Mr. Dominique. You said, I think I learned my lesson. And I'm not going to be back when she's mad like that. <laughs> okay, I'm a little nervous. Are we live? Yeah. Oh. Thanks. Okay. Okay, let's go this up. Bring her down. Come here. Mm-hmm. This will be interesting. I'm, I'm, I'm nervous because it's almost like there's a reason why the face couldn't be done somewhere. What? No. <laughs> there's a reason why the face couldn't be done somewhere else in the front feet. But we'll see. We'll see. I'm, I'm hoping that it's just because it is really matted. We'll see. We'll see right now. Yeah, I know. I got this new thing that's going to help her neck not be so sprung up with just a groove around. And you can find them on myfavoritegroomer.com and we're making them in the United States. It's been a long time coming. Okay, let's see what we got here. Hi, Goldie. So once we get down to the real neck and come down, I can do the legs with the the neck device here that goes over your groom loop. But once we really have to get down to the dirt, nitty gritty, we're gonna have to remove that and remove all the groom loop and really work with it, okay? So her legs here are extremely matted, okay? And I wanna say that the groomer that they used Couldn't finish the legs or the face, okay? And it may be me. It may have been because it was so matted, but it also may be because it's also maybe because she could be really mean. So we'll see here in a minute. Uh, I always have to say, be honest with the client, you know, and because you never know what you're going to be working with. And so in this case, I want you to know the same thing. So have your guard up. She's 14. She's, she's, her behavior right now is really well. It's not like she's super aggressive or anything, but you just never know. As we work with the matting, okay, just be ready for anything. And I don't think we'll ever see her like this again. So this is where we want to really share with the parent, you know, why the other groomer couldn't finish, and I don't mean it in a negative way, I just mean I'm sharing with you what the owner shared with me. The owner said the other groomer could not finish, and she told me the business name, which I'm not calling out. And I said, well, I don't know why she couldn't finish, so we'll just have to play it by ear and just do the best we can, okay? So that's where we're at. So let me get situated here. 
I've got my eyes on the animal. I, my eyes are on the animal. I'm watching everything. If I have to change the stance or the situation, I would. Okay? So, what, what do you guys want me to start first? <laughs> I can start the legs first. And that way I can uh, ch challenge her behavior and put the cone head on now. Okay? So that way I can find out if... So we can start the legs first, use a cone head, see how hard it is on her to demat, which I'm going to shave, I'm not dematting, shave her legs from added legs, and then work into the face. Because if I don't know how she's going to behave, taking the clippers to the face, which is a must in this case, is going to be just kind of tricky. Because the face has eyeballs, tongue, nose, things that, part, body parts that you do not want to nick or injure. Okay? So let's do that. Let's make that our game plan. That will help us determine kind of how she is going to behave on her legs. Hey, Goldie. Are you ready? We'll get this all done. We'll get all this off for you. Here we go. I'm going to come in closer. There you go. Take a good look here. Oh, that's really bad. I always tell you guys about, you know, if it's matted, like, you have to get under the mats in order to shave everything off. You can't go through the mats. You can maybe go under, create a pocket, and use scissors and cut a hole and then start spreading it apart, but you can't go through it. So I get a lot of messages sometimes that ask, tell me that the blade doesn't work. It's not that, it's your technique. So if the comb, we're not gonna comb Goldie, we're not gonna comb. But if you can't comb this, please don't bathe it. Okay, so mom said, I learned, I'm never gonna do it again. She was doing it herself for a little while and then bathing her herself without de okay? And so that can cause it to be this thick. All right, so let's get our 10 blade, which is our safest blade. And any blade you use, just like in the kitchen, anytime you are going to do anything with something that's cutting, it's, everything's never safe. So you have to still be careful. Okay, So once I went under the mat, pull it off, you're going to now take it off like a pair of pantyhose. And if you're a guy and you don't know what I mean with that, <laughs> buy a pair of $1 pantyhose at the dollar store and roll them on and then peel them off. Because that's, even maybe get them wet and peel them off. I'm not joking, okay? This, you can only understand something fully when you're experiencing it, right? 
you hate those people that judge you and they don't even know how you're living, they don't know your life. You can only understand if you live it and do it and try it yourself. You're doing great, Goldie. Okay, thank you. You can do that throughout. And then just watch the coverage of where your body's at for the feeling. You got a mold there. That's for you. Okay, so. We're gonna now, I forgot, you know, like I didn't forget, but now I'm reminded. She's a new client, she's 14 years old. She definitely has body moles. Here's a big one right here. So as we start to touch, if you touch certain moles, not all of them, if you touch certain moles, so there's a good one right there. There's a bunch of stuff right here. There's another one right there. So my point being, I wanna capture it here because my point being that as we, have, we take these mats off, we are going to touch some moles because look how tight they are. So when you guys watch the footage later on, you're going to see like, whoa. Okay. So I'm, I'm actually opening up my arm. I like that. I, what I need to do is split it. So I'm going to split this. So I'm looking at my two scissor tips. I'm going to cut that. If I don't see my scissor tips, do not take the cut. So you want to cut that right open. You can come closer with them, but uh, this one, do you see this over here on it? Check that heat on your blade. You're going to sideways cut that right open like that. I want to say pet parents on, uh, find out a pet parent is, oh no, she is, she's on YouTube, right? This is what I'm talking about here, pet parent. Um, it's just like pantyhose. We kind of talked about that. And I was showing the mole here that we hit. That's a mole right there. There's a mole here. We're not having to shave that. That's exposed. But I want you to know when a dog gets older, they have those moles that come up. So here's another one. So it's, e it's easy to have just kind of grazed that, obviously, with the amount of mats here. Look, there's another sore on the inside. Okay. So as we start to take everything off, we're going to start kind of exposing that kind of stuff. And that's just, it's the truth about how the arms are looking. Okay. That's where we're at with it. Okay. Thank you. Hey, YouTube. What's up, YouTube? What's up, TikTok? What's up, everybody? Social media. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. I got my eyes on you, girl. I got my eyes on you. Okay. We're going to come back after. And really uh, do the body cut if we do it at all. I, I really want, my focus is the timing because she's 14 and how she's doing and how long it takes me. And with this see, we can do it in two sessions, you know what I'm saying? We can 
Let's spread it out. She doesn't need to do the whole thing, but let's get all the mats off today. That's my focus is getting these mats off for her. Ooh, that's so bad in there. My goodness. Come on, Goldie. This, I'm just going to spray everything before I see it. right now and just kind of spray all the moles I see on her which are going to get irritated today before we get in there and whoa she's got a bunch in there you'll see it here in just a second can't see anything there I'm using what I sell which is made by Esprit the natural bandage spray you can put that in there if you want close-up footages you'll see it on YouTube you can check out YouTube now I just showed you guys the close-up on that all right, let's take our beads. Good. Can you give me a thing like this? Oh, never mind. I think I can figure it out. I think we'll put it there for a second. I want to get me. Do a record there. Like this. The full. Yeah? Thank you. Man. Oh, Aw, so tight in under your armpit. Yeah, it's so tight under your armpit. Yeah, I still need a, I still want that in the pad paper. I need to take some notes.
I mean, I swear there's a twig in here. I swear I just hit a twig. I'm about to pull it out with my hemostats. Let me see if that's what this is. Oh, heck no. Woo! Okay. I'm going to take you right here. So you, everyone heard that little uh, on my clipper? That's like a sound when you hit wood, okay? So I'm just going to be real with you. I'm just going to be real, real with you right now. I'm about to pull this out right here. Okay, hold on. Bear with me. So this thing right there, that just went the, uh, it just did that, okay? Now let's get the hemostats. When you have mats, you cannot see what's under it. And this is, this tell, like literally tells you. Look at this. I'm about to pull this out. Oh my gosh. What is this? Okay. Okay, hold on. Uh, customer service number two. Can you just stand here for a second? Thank you. It's not a twig. Oh, uh, make sure she does not fall. Put, her hand, put your hands on her back. One hand on her back, please. Whoa. Oh my gosh, something's in there. Like, hold on. I had to, what, what I just did, does anybody know what I just went and did? Anybody want to guess what I just did? If I'm about to pull something out of your dog, what do you think I just did? Like, I'm going to let you guys social media while I take a note here. You can, thanks for the follows, you guys, thanks for the likes, 2.1K likes, thank you to everyone, YouTube, TikTok, thanks for the likes, I appreciate you. Um, thank you so much, I appreciate you, okay, I do everything, I try to do everything live, effervescent, I want the pet owner to know and see what I'm doing with their dogs, and I want you to know that there's someone like me out there. If you need that kind of grooming service, please come to Fort Worth, Texas, baby. Alright, so, over here, eyes on exactly what I'm doing on three, right here, like just get in there. Okay, I need it a tap tap uh, like tap tap clear on everything here real quick before I get started. And so I want to position that this one is pet parent watching. So I'm about to pull this thing out of her dog and I want her to see that. So make sure when I get in there, it's pretty clear. We're going to come in right here and pull it out. Oh my goodness. Where did it go now? Okay, I'll have to find it in a second. What the heck? Oh gosh. Oh, please don't go. Did you go back in? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna panic. No, it's gotta be in this map because I, okay, it's in there, it's in there, okay. Here, but check that. It's, is it close up? Tap, do a tap to make sure. All right, here we go. This is where you guys are at. Sorry, if you don't get it, if you don't get it, we're going to definitely have it um, later on uploaded. So, okay, I just, want, I just want to say one last thing before I do this. She was groomed one month ago somewhere else. They groomed her body, okay?
Okay, you can see that. They already groomed her body. They, I'm gonna find out, that was my question. I'm gonna find out, was she bathed there at the groom shop? But she was bathed at home. Mom said, you know, I'm, I learned my lesson. I can't bathe when it's matted, that's true. But they groomed all this, right? They could not groom some of this other stuff. And now we're gonna see some of the stuff that they didn't get to get or look at because they just, I hope to find out that they did not bathe this dog and they didn't charge her, but also they did not finish. So I hope that I hear her tell me they did not bathe her on top of just this. So I'm coming in after someone else. And when you do that, you find all kinds of stuff. And one of these things is just something in her body. Now let's look. So I heard a little thump with my clipper and that's, that can ruin a blade. If you want to shave metal, it can. And I thought it was just a twig. So I was going to pull it out for her. You don't want to just shave the twig off. You want to actually get it out, but in, in pulling the twig out, it, I noticed it is not a twig, it is something else. Keeps, it keeps going, moving around. Okay. Well, I just done lost my train here. Don't tell me it's that, too. I actually don't see it. It went back into her body. Okay, well, let me just get cleared out with the clipper a little bit. Sit down, I'm gonna lose it again. Oh. I went out there and got permission to, from the pet parent because I told her I'm not a veterinarian, but I'm gonna pull this out of your dog and I need to know if I can do that or not. And she said, Oh, okay, okay. Um, Shiza. It's in there. So, what? Okay, hold on. Okay, you guys want to tell me what you would do? Go ahead, tell me what you would do. You guys let me know what would you do right now if this was your dog? She's 14. Stand here one minute. Stand here one second. Don't step on the clipper. Okay. Put the white camera down in two hands, please, because anything can happen. Thanks. I'm not going to pull it out right now. I'm going to expose it a little bit more because I, I what, what, you know what question I went and asked? When was she spayed? And so she had surgery about three years ago. Three years ago, she had surgery. And then put it here. So I, all this can be on there. Three years ago was her last surgery. So that piece of metal, if it's a staple that never got pulled out. Okay, I'm just going to say this like, What? And what? So she had her spleen removed three years ago. So I'm not going to pull it. It's not coming out easy. So I'm not going to rip her a hole right now. But I am going to groom around it and let's kind of expose what it is. All right. You and me, we're going to do it together. I'm going to groom around it. Um, let's move us kind of back that way until I come, come back to it. Go ahead, please. Move all that over there. Just grab it and go. Thank you. Okay, let's, just, let's see what happens here. Set me up on whammy, please. 
And then no cameras on, uh, no camera on camera. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna come back with the pet parent in the room and we're gonna attack that separately. I'm gonna keep moving forward on this mat, so that's what I'm gonna focus on. I'm gonna refocus my interview. Um, flip. So you don't get over exhausted because it can be exhausting, okay? Go work the other side. Go to a different area that's going to be more friendly, okay? Because if it's tough, then you get exhausted and frustrated, you need to switch it up, you know? And since we ran into something there, my mind is looking for something else. Because one of the worst things I did pull out of a dog, well, out of veterinarian's dog, okay, I was groomer at a veterinarian clinic. They brought in their Springer Spaniel. They have a farm. One of the worst things I ever pulled out of a dog was a hook, okay? A, a fishing hook. So don't think you can't get it. It can't happen. Trash gets, you know, thrown all over the place sometimes. Our trash guys dump stuff on accident. It flies out. You just never know. Someone could have walked the hook, you know, walking down to the lake. So you just never know what you might run into. Why do I care? It's because once you cut the hook or you cut it off, it's ex it's it. You lost half of it into the body. So now you want to keep an eye on all kinds of stuff that might be in the coat. Because I know that that's metal there, and I have to come back to it. So like I said, you're going to work this, this mat, so you're going to get underneath the mat with your tin blade, you're going to chisel at it a little by little, and then you're going to start folding it back like a pair of pantyhose. Okay, that's what this is, a pair of pantyhose. 
It's a slow process, which is why the, probably the first groomer said, the groomer a month ago, I should say, not the first groomer, but the groomer a month ago was like, we can't do all that. I can just shave the body, you know? And I'm glad she, I'm glad he or she did that because that tells you that, hey, they don't want to injure the pet. They don't, they may not know what they're doing and that's okay too. But I really hope that they didn't also bathe the dog. I'll have to find that out. Like, don't do that. If you guys are grooming dogs and you have to say no, great. I'm more well, proud of you. Like, you call a limit, you put your boundary out there, but make sure you don't just bathe the dog because you feel like you owe them something. No, give them five bucks. I mean, like, don't bathe the dog. Because this makes it tighter here. For the person who can finally get it done, it makes it harder work for them. And harder on the dog. Okay, I'm ready to kind of cut that through. Cutting it through, slicing it open like you're gonna do a flat chicken filet. Yeah, it's just like cooking. This is just like cooking. When you cut it through, you're gonna be able to open it up and start spreading it back. And that allows us better exposure. I mean, you, you did start off with the painting hose. It's the painting hose way right here. But we're gonna cut this back now. Look for your point point. So point to make, map the points, fly that open like that point point and then we're going to start spreading it open like that it is like cooking in a way you know all different recipes flavors so now we can see how we can get that a little bit better instead of like really rolling it and rolling it until it's too thick or no you don't like that it's kind of painful probably Check your heat. If you don't have another template, you want to have your spray. Cool it down or take a break. You don't want to keep going if it's super duper hot, unless you know how to hold the blade so that the dog can't feel the heat. There's more than one way to do something, isn't there? As we get closer to the toes, that's where it really is really, really tough stuff. Um, so a lot of dogs don't like their toenails messed with, you know, so as we, and then it's matted all between the digits and everything, so. That's definitely probably more painful. Okay, the armpit is, she's 14 years old, so her armpit is real loose. The skin is really move and pliable, like if you can move it and roll it around. So you don't want to just take it, because you could just cut the skin open. You gotta do little by little. Oh yeah, we're getting really open that up now. Woo! Oh, my arm is sore. Okay. Here we go, one more time. Oh, good girl, good girl, good girl. You're doing good. Come on, Goldie, you got this. You got this now. Okay, that's real tough. I'll have to come at a different angle, okay? Check your meat. Thanks for joining us at My Favorite Groomer. Check us out on Instagram, Snapchat, LinkedIn, TikTok, YouTube, Facebook. If you're on TikTok now, be sure to follow so you can watch our next live feed. Woohoo! Thank you, YouTube. I see some donations come through, YouTube and TikTok. I appreciate you. YouTube, thanks for the donations. Okay, we'll come back over here. 
Let's try to chisel back in this armpit right here. Oh, oh, it's okay. I'm right here. I'm right here, Colby. I'm in front of you now, okay? All right, cool, cool. We're going to be able to roll that. We're going to roll that. I'm going to roll that board here. Man. I had a third hand. That would be great. Roll it. Roll it. Roll it. Roll it down. Okay, girl, I got you, I got you. Let me come around to give you a hug here. Nice little hold here. There you go, perfect. Give you a little body support. Roll it down. Remember, she's got some mold. I'm trying to keep my eye on that and metal. Okay, look at that. Roll it. Handy hose. Easy peasy, baby. Easy, easy peasy. If you got a dog mounted, call me. I will help you get it done. Okay. MyFavoriteGroomer.com. Go hit it up. I got you. Come on, Goldie. Come on, girl. You got this. Come on, baby girl. You got this, girl. Woo wee! Look at that train. Come here. I'm gonna have to come in this way now. Ready? Don't get, don't get too wild now. Don't get too wild. We're almost done with this one. Get it, girl. Everyone say, get it, girl. Get it, Cody. You got this. You got this. Hang in there. Okay, nice. All right, we're seeing a paw here. Yes, sir. Get you some. We're going to come back with our 40 blade to detach it from the pads. Okay, there you go. On that back. Let me see if I can get it. Not right there. All right, cool. That was all. Look at this. Look at this. This is a reverse arm from the armpit down to the paw. Look at this. Is this cap turn it? Look at that. Pet parent, this is a new trophy for me. <laughs> I'm gonna save that one. All right, we'll give her a second. Everybody, I'm going to give her a two-minute break. We have a lot more to do. So I'm going to bring you and me here out there. I'm going to let Mom give her a hug real quick, okay? Come on. Come on, let's go. Give her a two-minute break here.
where you can re reposition that and it may change that. Yep. All the ones in the box are. Can we do it in there? I'm sorry, thanks. All right, so we had the pet parent and I really dig open that that uh, that metal, and we're, we're going to cut it off together. Oh my gosh, it is. Uh, it looks like a staple. It's been there for over three years. I said, call the, the veterinarian. She said it was out of state. That's like that's how far along. How, I'm so stuttering. Um, that's how long ago it was. She, she don't even live there no more. <laughs> And she said, hey, there's a staple left in there. It did not dissolve. It was not a non-dissolvable one. Like, what? Oh, no, no, no. Say, oh, no, no, no. Mm-mm. 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 Mm. What do y'all have to say about that? I'm pretty disappointed. If you ask me, I don't even know who to be disappointed in. All right, let's get her done. And I need to, um, ¿Cuántos eres? ¿Cuántos eres? Do we have another arm to work on? Let's see, we got that one. We have to finish this arm right here. Okay, you have not tried to bite me yet, so I'm not going to put the cone head back on, but please do not prove me wrong. Ooh, girl, please don't prove me wrong. <laughs> right? I was like, ooh, please don't prove me wrong. Because right now, I'm working in your face area. Yep. What happens is that little metal thing, which is a staple, folds back into the skin, takes me a minute to find the dang thing. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not supposed to have fun at my job. Boy, you better be crazy. You better be having fun at your job. If you're not having fun at your job, you are not working at the right place, okay? I just want to say that out loud so you all know to go ahead and change jobs now because there's so many people hiring for everything you want to do right now. You could be a zookeeper if you don't have any experience. Ooh, that arm is something else. All right, all right, close, close, close. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Maybe I do need to come head. Mm-hmm. That's a warning, little jump back, that little 14-year-old jump back. Always messing around, man. Always give them warning signs, and then you know you better do something different. So you don't get hurt, and then the dog has to get put down because the dog bit you, and you got hurt. You don't want to be that person. Don't be that guy. Your dog bit me because I was trying to be a hero. No. Do not let the dog bite you. Okay, here we go. 
This is tough stuff. No, not, not every animal, especially a 14-year-old, can go through this without having a problem, okay? Excuse me, Wham. I'm going to need to move you over there. TikTok, you guys got a good view, a decent view? Okay. I'm gonna try, I'm, you, got, you, you don't know I got a lot going on here. YouTube, we'll probably have to see you uh, later in a little bit. We'll just see how everything goes with battery life. Okay, here we go. Coming this way. So we're going to run into some moles here. Do you see all these moles back in there? We can do that with that one. So we're going to run into some moles. And some of these moles, when you tap them, they'll bleed. And unfortunately, that's just how life is with an old senior pet. So we've got these big moles coming out behind the matting. One, two, we hit one over there, three. There's one here, four. She's got one here, five, two on the back. Senior pets are gonna have that happen. If you go get them cut off, you'll be cutting them off for the rest of their life. So just let them be. That's my opinion. Okay. Sometimes when you take take the time and the money to cut one mole off, it comes back in three folds. Goldie, can you turn back around? Because now I'm holding you up on that side. And I'm holding your leg. It's a lot. It's a lot on one person here. No, no. You got this, girl. Come on. Girl power. You got this, Goldie. No, no. Don't pull. Come on. You're making me do a lot of work out. I know. I know what you might be going through. I really do. Okay. But you don't want to wear me out too fast. We have to do your face still. Oh, shoot. Okay. Get all these touched all that. Yep. These molds are not looking pretty. Let's just not look at those anymore. When, uh, so she has been matted for over a year, and we can get a better idea on that if you have to, but it's been over a year. So what I mean by that is how long did it take to get there, that kind of thing, okay? Come on, baby girl. Come on. I'm not going to do that. No, we can't. We're not going to do the bucking. Can't do the bucking together. Okay, come down. Come down. Good girl. That's a good girl. Good girl. Good girl. That's a good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. That's a good girl. Good girl. Come on, let's see. That's a good girl. Good girl. Good girl.
screen. Let's change the 40 blade here. I need to detach that big mat that's not wanting to let loose. I'm going to use my 40 blade. You want to be real careful when you use a 40 blade, but it'll, it has the finest teeth, so it'll be able to like really cut that off, like get it off fast. I don't know. I can't see, so... Clear though. Back to still don't want to come out. So you know what I mean, like, you, it's always the same. My heart hurts. I'll be real with you. Be real with you. My heart hurts right now. Why does my heart hurt? My heart hurts because she's 14. I haven't even gotten to her face yet. She's got moles that are bleeding, that were matted underneath, and she is not even yelping. How many aggressive dogs have I groomed that are freaking flying around screaming, angry? And look at her demeanor, and look at the amount she has to suffer through, and we're not even completely done with her feet yet, which is going to be the worst part here. And once I get a time, I may ask the pet parent that she has to go out of her way, and so do I, and I'll come in tomorrow night to do her head, because she's 14, okay? She's not five. She's not even two. And I don't even want to bathe her until it's all right. So tomorrow night, she works all day tomorrow. She works in Dallas, which is 45 minute drive one way. So I may, I, I know I'm going to do that. When I get done with the feet here, I'm going to do all the feet, nails, and I'm not going to do the face today. I'm going to do the face tomorrow night. I'm going to come out, and if she can do tomorrow night, I'm going to do it tomorrow night. I don't want to wait. But she, this is too much for her. Do you want, I'm going to come in, okay, I'm going to come in this way with the 40 blade. I don't really care, we're just going to get it in there. And this is where you're, you can now double check that. But at some point, if you don't mind, I need your time, or what, what time it is. Because really, if this is just taking all this off and we're doing it two hours, I want to do it two hours, that's the much. We're at one hour. Oh. 
Those of you guys watching on TikTok, if you enjoyed watching this serious, I don't know, shave down matted dog, shaving down matted areas, if you really want to see tomorrow night, make sure you follow so that you can come back and watch it when the notification hits. Same thing with YouTube. I noticed, you know, I've been watching someone on TikTok, I won't hit the follow, and then it's gone and I can't find them. I didn't catch their name, and they're gone, and I'm disappointed, and I realized, you know what, I need to start quickly hitting follow when I see something I like. Or it's going to be down. And if you think it's wrong with me to, like I hope not, but if you think it's wrong that I'm going to split her up into two sessions, then we are not on the same page. <laughs> you can do it over, possibly, maybe, should you, over. And you can just plant it right there. Plant it here and aim right there. and. These are by far the worst pads I've ever seen. So zoom, clear. Good girl, good girl, Goldie. Good girl, Goldie. Good girl, Goldie. Good girl. Good girl, Goldie. Hold on, hold on. Good girl. Good girl, Bodie. Good girl, Bodie. Good girl. Good girl, Bodie. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl, Bodie. Hold on. Hold on. Between her front of her feet, all that. Oh no, I got you. I got it. I'm holding you. I'm holding you tight. I'm holding you tight. Just easy, real easy here. Real easy. Not at all in there. You can get all that out. Good girl. I know. I know it. I got you. I'm, I'm holding you tight. I'm holding you tight. Hold on. I know it. I know it. I know it. I'll get all that out, okay? Got to start fresh. Good girl. 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 Good girl.
Good girl, that's good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. My fingers are sore. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Steady, steady, steady. Forward. Come on, come on, come on. We got this. Come down. Here we go. Okay. Okay, good girl. Ooh, good girl.
so now, yeah, no, wait, um, oh, those, those are, are they? Yep, they're still. What's the numbers on them? Um, you can check us out. We'll do an update. We'll do a short, maybe let you know, but definitely check out the subscribe, share, and follow. We'll see you next time. Thank you, YouTube. Thanks for the donations. Bye. TikTok.